Hey, Dr. McNamara here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, gluteal hip as well as the lower extremity, the knee and the ankle, kind of strain, stability, as well as mobility all wrapped in together. Um, there's a lot of overlap between some of these exercises. So um, we're going to start with the glute and just building some of that strength and stability because that's what's going to balance everything else out. So then we can then work on mobility. So <clears throat> just to begin, a simple exercise to start with is just a glute bridge. So simple as just, you're gonna get into this position and then you're just gonna contract the glutes so the pelvis comes straight up. If that's too difficult, just work it, work on sitting there and just contracting the glutes so the pelvis can lie, go up a little bit from there. So I would say this is the minimal level you should be able to do. Once you're able to work your way up to a glute bridge and get a nice, good contraction there, as that begins to get easy, you can then move on to the next level. Grab a resistance band of some sort. And what's great about the resistance bands is it's gonna wanna pull your knees in. I want you to push your knees out because that's gonna contract the glute medius a little bit more. And that's gonna be, uh, that's more of a pelvic stabilizer than the glute max. Um, so it's gonna help with that spinal stability. So just to show you, knees are going out, hips are going up, and I'm feeling a really good contraction of those glute knees, okay? There's the glute bridges. Now the next one I wanna show <clears throat> is um, once you're able to do the glute bridges with resistance, you wanna then start working on a monster walk. I like this one because uh, you're under gravity. So it's more of a functional type of position. And for this one, you wanna squat down and then again, spread those knees out. That's really gonna contract the glutes. And then you're just gonna go side to side, working on getting nice and low. You can slow the reps down for a little bit more time of your tension. I mean, this is a great one, this is a burner. Okay, so there's those two, that's for glute stability. If you're struggling with those still at this point, another exercise we can do is um, just kind of hip abduction. So abduction meaning the uh, limb is going away from the midline. So I came up with this abduction circuit and especially if you're having pain, this one's really good because it isolates that glute med and gives you a spot to kind of massage, whether you have a mechanical massage or like a hypervolt or even just your own hand is uh, pretty helpful with this one. So the way you wanna do this is, you're first just gonna rep out about 10 reps of just normal hip abduction. At this point, it's a good idea to try to find that glute medius. So you're gonna take your hand and push it. There's a bump on the side of your hip. If you go right behind that, you should be feeling a muscle contract a little. If you're not feeling it, the next step, what we're gonna do is you're gonna lift and then you're gonna turn your foot inward. So you're gonna internally rotate the thigh. Then you should really feel that muscle kind of pushing out back at you and you can find it and then you can start massaging that area. And then we're gonna start doing some flexion into extension to get a little active range of motion while you work on that massage. Rip this out about 10 times or so. And then we're gonna do, since our toe's in, we're gonna do toe touches, about 10 of these. This is burning now at this point. And then we're gonna do heel touches, about 10 of those. And then toe to heel, to toe touches and do about 10 of those. And that's really gonna activate that glute medius. If you are in any type of pain, that massage should relieve the pain. And then the other movements will help get it prepared so you can start performing the glute bridges as well as 